click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida Hello well, friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the Hobbes principle as well as we have also discussed about the Pauli's exclusion principle and now in this topic we are going to talk about the Hunt's rule of multiplicity so what is this rule and what does it states let me talk about that So before understanding what is Hunt's rule of multiplicity, let us understand the statement of it, and then we are going to talk about it in much more detail, taking in a particular example. So now let's start with the first one, that is the statement. That is, when several orbitals of equivalent energy, that is the degenerate state, are available, the electrons first enter all the orbitals singly with same spin, giving half-filled subshell and only then they start pairing with electrons having opposite spin. So this is the statement and now let us understand this statement with the help of a particular example. So here basically the example is, suppose friends if we have a particular orbital having four electrons in it and especially the orbital I'm talking about is P orbital. So how we can fill the orbitals? So here basically the P subshell it consists of three orbitals as we know. One, two, three. So the electrons must be filled in such a manner that is it should be one electron in each orbital that is we are filling the electrons singly in each orbital. Therefore we can fill the four electrons in this way while keeping the one electron in this orbital this is one this is two the second one this is three and the fourth electron will be filled afterwards once all the electrons are been filled singly in each orbital and in this case we see the px the py the pz orbital all these px py pz orbitals they are of the same energy that is the equivalent weight ah uh, The Px, Py and Pz, they all are of the same energy that is also known as degenerate orbitals. And now let me talk about the fourth electron. And now the fourth electron will be paired. But here you can see that is all the electrons are having the same spin. That is plus half, plus half and plus half. While the fourth electron when it will enter, it will pair and it will have an opposite spin in this manner. Suppose if we are considering the another example, suppose here I am talking about D5. Suppose if this is the orbital that is what we have and the D subshell consists of 5 electrons. As we also know that is the D subshell also consists uh, as we also know that is the D subshell consists of 5 orbitals. So here basically I am representing the orbitals in such a manner 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the 5 orbitals that we have. And what we have is we have 5 electrons. So how we can fill it? We won't fill it in this manner. That is by filling it 1, 2 electron, 3, 4, 5. That is not the rule according to the Hunts. So that's the reason that what we can do is we will fill the electron first in this orbital. This is the first electron. Talking about the next one, the next electron will be filled over here, the third will be here, fourth and then fifth. So this is how basically we should fill the electrons. Now let me talk about the next one. Suppose if we have S orbital and in S orbital as we understand that is there is only one orbital so that's the reason suppose if we have to fill two electrons, the two electrons will be filled but the thing is the electrons that we are filling in that case one of the electron will be of a positive spin that is plus half it will have a value and the other one will have a spin quantum number of minus half so that is for sure we have to follow this and let me talk about what is the use of this kind of filling of electron here basically as you can see that is while filling the electrons we are filling in such a manner that is we are filling all the orbitals with singly electrons and that is how basically the orbital it will become more stable and that's the reason that to acquire much more stability the electrons 
आर बीन फिल्ड इन सच ए मैनर सो लेट मी टॉक अबाउट दी डी फाइव सो द डी फाइव एज वी कैन सी दैट इज इट इज अ वेरी सिमेट्रिकल ऑर्बिटल एंड वी कैन फाइंड हियर दैट इज ऑल द इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट आर बीन फिल्ड दे आर सिमेट्रिकली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड दैट्स रीजन दिस इज वेरी मच स्टेबल कंपेयर टू दैट ऑफ डी नाइन कंपेयर टू दैट ऑफ डी एट so here basically suppose if we have another example suppose if we are talking about d10 so here as we also understand that is it will consist of five orbitals 1 2 3 4 and suppose this is the fifth one so the electron will be filled in such a manner that is 1 2 3 4 5 it will be filled singly in each orbital this will be the sixth one 7th 8th 9th and 10th so this are the certain rules that is what we have to follow and based on this we can easily evaluate the electronic configuration as well as based on that we can easily predict the oxidation number the valency and such all kind of factors based on the electronic configuration and for that we have to follow the certain rules that is f boss principle we have to also follow the hertz rule and also we have to know the statement of the pauli's exclusive principle so based on all that this are the rules to fill the electrons in the orbitals so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ekra channel thank you so much